Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute. This is like the first time I've filmed in probably like two to two and a half weeks. It's really bad. I fell off the wagon a bit there, but um, I was just sort of going through a very uninspired time and I just couldn't like find any creative juices to create a look. We've done something creative today, we've worked with a bit of colour, and I honestly love the way it turned out. I have mixed a few brands and palettes in this, so I am sorry, I know I hate doing that because it just makes the look a lot harder to recreate. Just do it with whatever you've got at home. Before we get into the tutorial, please hit the subscribe button and join my little squad here on YouTube. And if you want to learn how I created this look, then please keep on watching. All right, so I have already like prepped this eye, but because I'm not setting the base, it has creased a little bit. So I'm just going to take my concealer brush and I'm just going to pat over that just to make sure that it's all blended and we've got no none of those crease lines. So basically, when I was doing this eye, I was going sort of down a more like mossy green I don't know with like a yellow halo around it sort of blowing it out I then decided I wanted to just change the direction a little bit and just change the like undertones so I'm gonna carry on I'm gonna do the exact same process I did on this eye just so you can see because I don't want to like change the process and then I have a slightly different finish on this eye what I'm gonna do is I'm taking the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette, and I'm just taking this green shade right here. I think it's called Fickle, and don't mind my nails, like I've got two left on this hand. I know it's ratchet as fuck, but I haven't got time to get my nails done until like next week. And this hand is still like perfectly fine, so I don't wanna just take them off. I'll just rather like hide my hand. So I'm gonna take that shade on a Zoeva 231 brush and I'm gonna start off by working that into the crease. And I'm using shape tape on my lid as a base just because it's got a very full coverage and it does have a matte finish. So I prepped this eye before like at the same time I did this eye. So it has had time to dry down a little bit. So it's not gonna have as much of a tacky finish as like when I did this eye. So I'm just using small circular motions and I'm going all the way through the crease. And I'm just working with what product is on my brush for now. And it doesn't have to look super neat right now because we are going to go and blend out the edges and stuff I'm just picking up a little bit more product and the same again i'm just going to keep building that up through the crease just using the small circular motions right into the inner corner as well and then what you can do if you if it's sort of like throwing you off having that harsh line you can just take the tip of the brush and really lightly just feather it along the edge and it will just help to blend the color out a little bit more now what I'm doing is taking product on the brush, the same color. I'm gonna sort of stamp it into the crease rather than blending it, just to make that color really intense. And then we can go back in with our small circular motions and just blend that out. So because we didn't set the base, Pressing that product in there is gonna help to make sure that doesn't crease and to make sure it lasts all day. Um, the next shade I'm going to take is a single shadow by Ilamasca and it's the yellow one. It's called Hype. This is one of my all time favorite yellow eyeshadows. It's super, super pigmented, super bright. They're really blendable and nice. Um, some of the other colors are a little bit harder to blend, but this one is super nice and it's like one of my staple eyeshadows. Like I couldn't live without this and I don't even think they sell this this one anymore which is really sad so I'm just taking a Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to feather that right along the edges of where we place that deep green shade and you can see it's almost giving off like a lime green effect when when it's mixing with the darker green which I really like but for this look I just wanted to change it up a little bit so you'll see that in the next step so then I'm gonna go back in with my 231 brush and just use that back in the crease. I'm not picking up any extra product. 
I'm just going to help to blend that green out a little bit further into that yellow shade that we just placed down. And this is just going to help to sort of like elongate it out. Obviously I did add a wing to this look. I wasn't going to, but I'm glad I did really like it. Yeah, because we've got a wing on, we don't want it to be too round. Because then the wing will sort of look like it's just sticking out of nothing. So we just want to sort of like elongate it out a little bit towards the temple. And then back in my 506 brush just to help blend the edges. So now I'm going to go back into the 39A palette and I'm just going to take this shade here from the middle section of the bigger pans and it is literally the one right in the middle of the palette. It's just a nice sort of um, like a warm transition shade and I'm going to take that on my Zoeva 224 brush. This is one of my all time favourite brushes. And what I'm going to do is go right over the edge where we place all of that yellow shade and blend it down into the crease as well. And this is just going to help to give it a more, almost like a dirty green look. And overlapping it in the crease it will just sort of like deepen up that um, khaki green shade that we placed down. So the next shade I'm going to take is from the Morphe and Jekyll and Hill palette and it is this really nice sort of teal shade on the bottom row and I'm going to take that on a Morphe M514 brush and I'm going to run that all the way through the crease. So this is where I got to the point in my makeup and I was kind of like, mm, I kind of want it to have a slightly more, almost like a bluey undertone. So that's why I reached for this shade because it's like a perfect bluey green it's like the perfect teal shade and it actually blended really well with all of the colors i've already placed down and again just using really light feathering motions when i have no product on the brush just to really pull that product out a little bit and i'm really building that up on the inner corner as well so i'm going to go back in with my zavio 224 brush just to help blend those edges. And then I'm just gonna take a clean brush. This is the Zoeva 227, and I'm going to use that just right around the edges just to make sure it's nice and blended, there's no harsh lines, and to make sure that everything looks seamless. Then you can go back in with any of the brushes that you used before just to correct any areas. So I'm just taking my M514 and just helping to blend this outer corner a little bit. I'm also going to go back in with my M506 which hasn't got any extra product on but it will have a slight bit of the yellow and the green mixed together left on it. So I'm just using that just to help blend the outer corner out as well. So now going back into the 39A palette, I'm just going to take the black in the palette and I'm just taking on a blank canvas E10 brush and I'm going to really lightly run that through the crease. This is a super pigmented black so you really don't need to use much of it at all. And again I'm taking it all the way through the crease even to the inner Part of the crease area as well. Then just to tie that black in and make sure it's all blended, I'm gonna take the teal shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette, just a tiny little bit on the brush, and I'm just gonna use that to blend that black in and almost make the black look like a really dark teal. So I'm just gonna go back in with a tiny little bit of hype, the yellow shade that we used on my M516 506 brush. And I'm just going to really lightly just pop that on the outer corner to help blend that edge out. And also just right in this inner corner part here. Just to have like a nice pop of a bright brightness on the inner corner. For the lid shade, I actually mixed two together. So on the base, I went into my Juvia's Place The Magic palette. And I'm using this shade right here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it because I'll get it wrong but it's like a really deep, almost like a black teal. Really nice, and it's got like a slight shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna press that all over the lid. And I'm using this with a dry brush so you can really see how pigmented they are. Cause you don't have to spray your brush to get the sort of metallic shades to show up. So 
So just to blend the edges of that, I'm just going to take my Morphe um, 514 brush and I'm not adding any extra product. I'm just using the edge of the brush just to really help blend that lid shade in with the crease. And then on top of that, I used this sort of like pigment, pressed pigment from Topshop. This one is called U-Turn and it has like this amazing, it's like really bright green, but it has this amazing pink shift. So when you look to the side, you can see that it shifts to like a pink shade. I don't know if it'll do it with these lights, but. So I'm just gonna take that on a flat synthetic brush. And I'm gonna layer that over the top of where we place that lid shade. All over the lid, I'm sort of, and when I've got a little bit left on my brush, tapping it really lightly into the crease as well. And I'm applying a layer of this first with a dry brush, and then I will go in and spray my brush after just to get it a little bit more intense. And I'm concentrating most of the product onto this sort of portion of the lid here. And I sort of start to really lightly blend it out when you get closer to the outer corner. So now I'm just gonna pick up some product and spray my brush. And I'm just using the D-Slick setting spray from Urban Decay. And then I'm gonna go straight over the top of where we placed it in the beginning. And it just makes it more intense. So now I'm just gonna create my wing and I'm using my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm just gonna sketch that out, make sure it's even to the other side. So I went ahead and did my foundation and concealer off camera because you've seen it a million times before. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the underneath of my eyes. And I think I'm gonna go in with the Khaki Green Shade First from the 39A palette. And I'm gonna take it on the same brush, the Zuiva 231. I'm just gonna start at the outer corner and just wiggle my way all the way across my lash line. Now with that same brush, I'm just gonna go straight into the teal shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and go right over what we just placed down. Then I'm just gonna take my blank canvas E10 brush and a little bit of the black shade and just take that really close to the lash line. Just mainly on the outer half. And then just like we did on top, I'm gonna to go back in with the teal shade and go right over the black just to make sure that it's all sort of tied in and that it doesn't look too black. I want it to look more like a deep teal. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit of Hype, the yellow that we use with my M506 brush. And I'm gonna focus that right on the inner corner here. And then just taking it just underneath just to help blend the edges out a little bit. So I'm just gonna grab a tiny bit of that Topshop pigment on the brush that I used before, the flat synthetic one. I'm just gonna spritz that to make sure no fallout goes on my face. And I'm just gonna pop that right here. Now for the inner corner, I wanted to use this Sugar Pill pigment and it's called High Viz and it's like a luminous yellow. But every time I've put it on before in the past, it hasn't been that intense. So what I'm gonna do is first pop on the NYX eyeshadow base in white, just a tiny little bit on the inner corner. And I'm just using my little pencil brush. So I'm just gonna pick up some of that product. I'm gonna tap off the excess on the back of my hand. So there's not too much on there. And I'm gonna pop it on the inner corner. And this is not only going to brighten up the inner corner for the yellow to stand out a little bit more, it's also gonna give it like a sticky base as well. And then I'm gonna go straight into the sugar pearl pigment. And you can just see that it's made it a lot more intense than what it would be if I just applied it on its own. And I'm really sort of 
pushing it quite hard into where I've placed that base down so that I can really set the base and really sort of like stick it down. So now I'm just gonna apply some mascara and I'm just using my Maybelline Total Temptation. And I'm just gonna apply it to the top and bottom lashes. And then the lashes I'm gonna use are these new ones by Doll Beauty and these are in the style Jamie G. I think they were inspired by Jamie Genevieve. Um, so I'm just gonna apply these off camera and I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna highlight my face and I'm using a new highlighter today. This is the Doll Light Beauty by Doll, Doll Light Beauty. This is the Doll Beauty Highlight um, in the shade Shine Bright. Looks a bit like this. And this one I would say is really good if you have been looking at the ABH and Reezy highlight and you really want it, but it's £29, like it's, it's pretty pricey for a highlighter. This one is really similar in the way that it looks on the skin, the colour, and also it's £15. So um, I'm not sure in comparison, you get 12 grams of product in this. I'm not sure how you do how much you do get in the Amreezy one because I haven't checked but it's really good for 15 pounds. So I'm just gonna apply this with my Morphe M510 brush, just everywhere that you usually will highlight. So you can see that's like the tiniest amount of product and it's super reflective, super shiny, and it just gives you like a really nice champagne glow. So now that I've applied that, I'm just going to spritz my face with my setting spray. If there's any left. Oh, it just spat at me. Probably like the last tiny bit of that in the bottom. Just to make my face a little bit damp, I'm just gonna blow it dry a little bit. And then just while my face is still a little bit sticky, I'm just gonna go back over where we just highlighted on the cheekbones. I don't really do it anywhere else, I just do it on the cheekbones. And it just helps to make the highlighter pop just a little bit more. Now I'm just gonna bronze using my Christian Dior Nude Air Bronzer and my usual M500 brush from Morphe. I'm just popping that on all the usual spots and just down my neck a little bit as well just because I'm not as tanned as my foundation. Then I'm just going to use the very edge of the brush, the right at the tip, just to go down the sides of my nose really lightly. So now all I've got to do is pop a lip on and I think I'm going to obviously, obviously do a nude. And I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Naked Liquid Lipstick with the NYX Sandstorm Liner. This is like one of my favourite combos. And then I'm just going to go straight over the top all over my lips with the Naked Liquid Lipstick. And that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This, I honestly like didn't plan this look out. I haven't practiced it, but I love the way it came out. I love the pop of neon on the inner corner. And yeah, I just think it looks fantastic. If you recreate this look, please let me know. Please tag me so I can go and take a look at it. I love seeing when you guys recreate my work or do looks inspired by me. It just makes me really inspired and it's nice to know that I am actually making an impact on people. It's really great. So as always, everything will be listed in the description box down below. You can also find my socials down there too. So you can find my Instagram and Twitter. I am not really the best Twitterer. Twitterer? -er? Twitty? Tweeter? I don't know. I'm not the best person for Twitter. I, 
I don't really get it. I don't get how to use it, to be honest. <laughs> but Instagram is like my main one. I post on there quite regularly. It'd be great if you could go and follow me there too. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well before you go. And with that being said, I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.